As thousands of Afghans and Pakistanis affected by Monday's earthquake spend a second night without shelter, there are warnings that some may die of exposure and officials say there's an urgent need for tents and blankets. 360 people are now known to have died but the full impact of the disaster is still unclear. The quake had a magnitude of 7.6 with the epicentre near the city of Faisabad. From Kabul, our correspondent Shaima Khalil sent this report. The center of the earthquake may have been in Afghanistan, but the devastation has spread through the region, especially in neighboring Pakistan. In the northern city of Swat, hospital staff have been receiving more casualties. The patients are out of danger, but many are still trying to deal with the shock of losing their homes and loved ones. I didn't see how it happened. There were children lying injured. Then a wall came down and hit his mother on the head. She died on the spot. The Pakistani authorities, with the help of the army, seem to be coping for now. It's a national disaster. It happened in the whole of the province. So many of the people, they have been hit at the same time. They have been brought to the hospital at the same time. And this is what remains of people's homes in the Pakistani city of Peshawar. <laughs> this local community in the northern Afghan city of Talukan is in mourning. Twelve female students died in a stampede trying to escape their school when the earthquake hit. The situation is much more stable in Kabul. The city is bustling with overall minimum damage and no reports of mass casualties. But people are still worried about aftershocks. The real challenge for the government here in Kabul is getting aid to people in the remote northern and eastern areas. And it's not just the rough terrain that is the problem. There are also security concerns, with Taliban militants said to be stationed in some districts. Pictures are filtering in from the north, if slowly. This is one area in one district in Tahar province. Thousands of people like those residents are scrambling for shelter. It's a race against time, and help could not come fast enough for people here. Shaima Khalil, BBC News, Kabul.